I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Wednesday. If you're a parent or guardian who's been waiting for your child to be able to get their COVID booster shot, that wait is almost over. The FDA giving Pfizer emergency use authorization Tuesday for the booster for kids ages 5 to 11, saying they can get that third shot at least five months after their first two doses. The FDA says even though COVID tends to be less severe in children, the Omicron wave has seen more kids getting sick and some hospitalized. Michelle Corson with Kern County Public Health points out there's still a ways to go in bringing these shots to kids here in the state. This is all really important for people that have been waiting uh, for their kids to get that booster dose. So this announcement is significant for families. Um, we are awaiting now the CDC to um, come out in the Western states groups. So we're going to get that final confirmation from the state. It has always kind of come at us in that direction where the state um, is going to let us know and then locally those boosters should be available in the very near future. So we're just waiting for those final details. Corson adds that as they monitor the cases that are reported here in Kern County, getting vaccinated and your booster is still a vital tool in the fight against the virus. For a list of local vaccination sites, go to kernpublichealth.com. Taking a look at the newest COVID numbers reported on Tuesday, public health reporting 380 new infections from Friday of last week to Monday. That averages out to about 76 a day. There were also no new COVID related deaths. All right, let's switch gears and get a check of where we stand midweek in our forecast. Good morning. It's a hot day out there today, so definitely stay hydrated and stay cool. We're in those low 90s today and slightly higher temperature around 94 for your Thursday. There's a small dip on Friday going back into those upper 80s, but for your weekend, you can plan ahead expecting a hot day both days in those low 90s. And we're staying in those 90s going to next week, possibly even seeing a slightly higher 90s on Tuesday. As for mountain communities, warm out there as well. We're in those upper 80s today and right around 90 tomorrow for Lake Isabella, right around 80 for Tatch and Fraser Park. So slightly cooler out there, but still warm going into Friday. Like we said for the valley, same thing for mountains, a slight dip, but then over the weekend, mid 70s and 80s and going into the new week, those temperatures go back up again. Monday and Tuesday, at least we're right around 90 for Lake Isabella, 80 for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. And that's a look at what's happening right now. Don't forget for breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere. Download our free mobile and tablet apps. Take them along if you're headed out on a holiday weekend. Have a great day.